Hi, I'm Lola Hilton. I'm the Executive Director at the First Flight Foundation. We are very excited about an event taking place here on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, October 21st through 24th. We are celebrating Orville Wright's nine minute and 45 second soaring flight that occurred on October 24th, 1911. Orville in 1911 made what really counts as the first soaring flight anyone had ever made. Uh, over nine minutes, almost ten minutes, uh, in fact, just an extraordinary event with a special glider. Well, 1911 was a bad year for the Wright brothers. There had been a string of really pretty horrific accidents, both with members of their own exhibition team, but with Army aviators flying their airplanes as well. In fact, at one point that year, the Army and the Navy actually stopped all flights with Wright-type airplanes. So he decided he wanted to work on that issue. So he came back to the Outer Banks, and that is when, uh, with his friend Alec Ogilvy and uh, his brother Lauren, they set about for additional experiments. And so this October, you can come back here, you can hear about those experiments. We have a lot of fun event planned. On Friday evening, we're gonna be uh, having a cookout across from Jockey's Ridge where the 1911 uh, glider re reproductions will be flying during the day. And then each day we have exciting events going on each night. We have a ragtime gala at the country club that people can buy tickets for. And then on Sunday evening, you can actually meet those glider builders. You can ask them, what did they use? What, what, how did they know how many ribs were on this plane from 1911? And how did they know, where did they get this information? You can actually walk up and talk to them. And then on Monday, here on the grounds at Wright Brothers, in the same place that Orville Wright flew, we're gonna have a commemorative ceremony. And we have people from NASA who were involved, the Soaring Museum, the Soaring Society of America, the Hang Gliding Association, and we have a descendant of Orville and Wilbur Wright. Amanda Wright Lane will be here. She's the great grandniece. One of the things that we're most excited about is being able to bring our glider back here where the Wright brothers flew. So just four miles south of here at Jockey's Ridge, There'll be three glider teams that have uh, built reproductions, along with uh, hundreds of hang gliders. And here at Wright Brothers Memorial, there'll be soaring machines that will be towing off and landing on the grass out here. So it's a real celebration of soaring, um, and it's going to be an exciting time to be here. It will be one of the last great Wright Brothers anniversaries down here, after all, until you get to 2028 and 20. 32 and the anniversary of the monuments and so on. We're very excited about a new website that is set up now. It's called Soaring100.com and you can go there and you can get all of the information about this four-day event here on the Outer Banks. You can find out about uh, who is going to be here speaking. You can find out about tickets. You can actually order your tickets online. We're going to have some awesome shirts and hats that you'll be able to bring away as souvenirs. And if you have questions about this event, there's all the contact information that you would ever need. So we encourage you to go to Soaring100.com, check out this information, and come on down to the Outer Banks. We'd love to see you.